la 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 oh 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 la 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 if every day is just a dream then who would i want to be today i think i'll be the queen find the time machine Back to the bucket, 2016 PGA show wrap up. Yeah, I hope you're hanging in there with all the uh, snow on the ground. It's melting off pretty quick, and hopefully your backs are recovering from shoving all the, shoveling all that snow. But we've got a lot, of, a lot of exciting things to talk about. Well, first start off, probably the most important thing for us is we actually received for our fourth year in a row Platinum Clubs of the Year, so our top 100 clubs through private, off course, and public, and resort. It's like the top 100 golf shops, and for four years in a row, we've made that list. Yeah, we want to thank you, our members. Obviously, you play the, the largest role in that. It's a, an incredible honor, like Jim said, and it comes from creative merchandising. They analyze some of our numbers and what we kind of do to push everybody else uh, in our industry. So we want to thank you, and we can't do it without you. And one of the things that help us, helped us win that award, we also won best practice by the PGA for women's golf in creating our ladies boutique. Yeah, the unique boutique uh, is only going to get better and better as we keep doing it and get better and at it through the years. And it was a very creative idea that the AGM thought deserved, and PGA actually, deserves some special recognition within our industry. So thank you for inspiring us. Yeah. It's the 2016 PGA Show Wrap-Up. Okay, now turning over our attention to the P actual PGA Merchandise Show, some of the interesting things that we saw, you know, with being a Callaway Fitting Studio, we have actually an allegiance to looking at their, uh, some of their top things, but, you know, a lot of companies out there are promoting more yardage through aerodynamics as you heard uh, ping last year with the turbulators and you'll see more and more come out of that Callaway actually went and partnered with the leader in aerodynamics Boeing yeah what better company to go to than somebody that makes planes fly through the air uh, to make things go faster so they've enhanced the XR line with the uh, XR 16 drivers and fairway woods and also the irons got redone we're going to see the XROS, which stands for oversize. It's still an iron, a little bit more forgiv forgiveness, and uh, just a slightly bigger footprint on the club. But really looking down on it, you can't really tell the difference between last year's XR and the new XROS. Also from Odyssey Golf, which Callaway does own, they had probably one of the most interesting and buzz at the show call their toe up putters yeah the toe up putter actually when you rest it on your finger the toe of the putter points straight to the sky now generally in a traditional putter think your your normal putter when you balance it on your finger the toe will sag down the uh, mallet putters that have gotten a lot of uh, play in the last 10 years or so generally are face balanced so the the face sits flat these the toe goes up so it's using the weight on the club face to keep the blade really square through impact and it is solid I know it's going straight into my bag so basically the face that aims towards the hole never leaves that direction exactly. which is a great thing to do because you want that face aiming always at your target so keep it nice and simple kudos to Odyssey and, and Callaway what else did we see we saw a lot of other things uh, the neighbors over at TaylorMade have launched their M2 driver. So the M2 driver basically is their spinoff of M1. It's a composite driver. Keller made has moved the center of gravity away from the front of the face towards the rear of the golf club to make it their most forgiving driver ever. So uh, a lot of buzz there as well too with the M2. On the, how about the accessory side? Yeah, the accessories we're seeing wearable technology come more and more popular and one of the neat things that I saw was the Golf Buddy watch. They partnered with Swarovski's Crystals, so they have some bling on your wrist for 
when you need to look your best. It is truly jewelry at its best, I would say. It does not look like the old uh, GPS watch. It's big and bulky and kind of ugly and makes some really bad tan lines. This yeah. actually looked real good. They've slimmed it down. It's white, and I think they come with 9 to 12 Swarovski crystals around the face. Uh, so it lightens up the look a lot. A lot of the PGA show is, is solving problems that we may have when we play golf. And one of them is that, that annoying, when you use your, your Bushnell rangefinder, where do you put it? You put it in the cubby, mm -hmm. you put it where your drink goes, but your drink's already there, and then it pops out of the cart. Real simply, this one company designed a little clip that will go onto the golf cart, up by the windshield, and we basically just clip it on, pull it off, and put it back. Real easy to use, convenience. We're all about helping you here at Fountainhead. Anything to make your life easier. On the clothing side, we did see some fashion forward ideas that Jeremy talked about, but we also see a return to classics. Yeah. A company that really resonated with me, a company called Cricket, which the shirt I'm wearing today, 100% organic cotton, is inspired by those great shirts worn back in the 86 <laughs> Masters, Jack Nicholas, big collars with a collar stays, so no more of the collar flipping up. The technology of today, but in the older vintage style of before. Yeah, and kind of on the flip side of that coin, I found a really cool company. They had a very small booth called Meisen and Main, and they made dress shirts out of synthetic materials. So they had a lot of structure in the collar, so the collars weren't flimsy. They had collar stays. They had multiple layers, so they had a nice strong collar, but the actual material itself was uh, poly blend, so you get a nice light, super soft feel to the hand and the best part about this company throw them in the washer at home hang them up to dry wrinkle free that's great great for traveling great for uh people like me that <laughs> they don't know how to iron <laughs> that don't know how to <laughs> iron <laughs> and <clears throat> one of the also uh return vendors that wasn't here last year the year before you yeah, is yeah. coming back to the shop they have some really new neat designs. You'll see patent is coming back in the industry uh, for outerwear. Yeah, that's one of the things in the AGM uh, seminar about fashion from one runway onto the golf course is one of the big trends we're seeing come is a revitalized space age. So think 50s space suits, white, blue, red, sleek, clean, art deco, and mixing that with metallics so you get a lot of your patent colors your grays your golds and uh, a lot of asymmetrical color blocks so be on the lookout for that okay so what can you do at the club in the meantime when the snow is melting we have a couple of things obviously the most popular is the golf simulator yeah we just got a brand new sim uh, projector for the simulator picture looks awesome it is great we replaced the screen a few months ago so it is rocking and rolling down there. Be sure to call us and uh, maybe share with us your favorite golf course that you like to play in the simulator. Yeah, great idea, great idea. Remember, it's just $20 an hour. You can bring in four people, $5 an hour you do it that way. Perfect. Play golf for practice. Come out and use it. It's definitely there for you. Also, we have a nice fitness golf seminar coming up on Friday, February 26th from 5 to 6. Yes, the wonderful people over at NMS Healthcare are going to keep you healthy during the golf season. So we're talking about classical golf industries, your back, your elbow, your wrist. They're going to be there. They'll actually be asking for volunteers to come up and do some screening. So if you want to come out to the event, you don't need to call and sign up. You can just show up. But if you want to be a volunteer and get screened, give us a call ahead of time. That would be great. Yeah. And the last thing before we send you off is we're getting ready for the 2016. So make sure you have your 2016 schedule. We do have a couple of hard copies here in the shop. And we have the entire calendar electronic. It's a very easy um, Google calendar. We can send you a link on your smartphone. You just click the link and follow the directions and it automatically populates your calendar with all of the events. So we have, you can either get your golf events, the nine hole ladies, the 18 hole ladies, and the MISCA are all separate links. So you don't get what you don't want, basically. Yeah, so there are some new events. We won't uh, give you all the details now. So look on the website as well too. All the information is there as well. Thanks for spending some time with us and we'll see you next time.
If every day is just a dream Then who would I wanna be? Today I think I'll be the queen Flying through a time machine Oh, my, my Discover what's deep inside Oh